Check it. Check it. Check it. Season's greetings. Okay, then. Okay. <laughs> um, hello and hello. welcome to uh, the new Check It. We are, uh, we're doing it a little bit more off the cuff. We're going to do different locations because we can. Why not? Our partial uh, Florida State flag. Yeah. Uh, if you're a gator, you know what that means. <laughs> well, what you're time, not a What fan. time is it? 27 to 2? <laughs> Uh-oh. This isn't the sports show. <laughs> And we're driving away the 27 viewers we have. We, um... If you're uh, based out of Gainesville. Yep. This is anyway, Shane. This is Alex. And uh, we we need to get through this because we need to talk about Star Wars. This is true. So, There's only one thing that we need to talk about, and that is Star Wars. So let's just, let's, let's plow through these. Uh, here are some films that are coming out in December that we think you should either check it or we think you should either not check not it. Not check it. <laughs> so, yeah. But most of these, I think we're going to check it. Yeah. I would I would agree. It's Oscar season. I mean, hey, speaking of check it, Macbeth comes out December 4th. What's that? It happened last week, didn't it? Oh, yeah. We're, we're late. We're, we're a little late. A little sorry. Late. But from what I hear, uh, it has an 83% Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. I, I think... Uh, I think it'll drop a little. Yep. Because right now the score's settling in, so yeah. right now we can't really do anything about that. But, but uh, apparently it's pretty good. I Although, hear good things. Yeah, I hear a little. Some people don't like it, obviously, but like like AV Club, they gave it like a C plus or something like that, and I was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> I, I mean, it's our good. our uh, you know every five years we get a dose of Shakespeare, and yeah. I hear good things. I hear the visuals are yeah, fantastic. They, they, look great. they do. Uh, the director of this. I don't know his name, but he's directing the Assassin's Creed yep. movie. Justin, with, with, Justin Kurzel. Really? Yeah. You're good. <laughs> uh, and and he, um, Michael Fassbender and Marion Cotillard are both in back. that also. Yeah. So this gives me hope for Assassin's Creed. If this guy is, you know, if he was able to make a great Macbeth movie or from what I see, a pretty good Macbeth movie, he could probably make a really good uh, Assassin's Creed movie. Which uh, would be good for video game movies. Even though I liked Silent Hill and... I didn't um, mind Prince of Persia. I'll tell you that. I didn't mind it. You didn't mind a uh, pure American playing a Persian? Yes, I didn't mind it because it was Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess... <laughs> Any other would... American, I would have minded, but it was Jake Gyllenhaal. Did he uh, do so much method acting that he yeah. changed his birth certificate to like and say he it was Persian? It doesn't hurt that Gemma Argenton is in it. And there's a shot where um, the camera is close up on her chest. And like the little like sands of time are just dangling there. And I'm like, this is, uh, this is PG. Sir. Sir. We're just going to move on. <laughs> no response necessary. Uh, oh, box office prediction. Impossible to tell. I have no, I, it's not telling me like when it'll be released, but it's definitely very limited. So probably won't do much damage. Yeah. I think this is just the, the yearly, Hey, Oscar voters, here we are. And, uh, I mean, it does look great. So I Uh, think you should check it. Yeah, I'm going to check it, I think. And you should too. Uh, anyway, we're not to Star Wars yet, but we are on to Krampus, which right now. Also came out December 4th. Yep. Uh, sorry, we're a little late, but, um. And I, uh, I predicted that it would be uh, at 66% and not far off, 63%. Pretty solid. Which is about what I thought it was going to be. Uh, this is from the guy who did Trick or Treat. Love it. Uh, great ho- or Halloween movie, if you haven't mm-hmm. seen it. And the reviews that I hear from actual people, not just Rotten Tomatoes, yeah. but they say they loved it. Like, So I think that 66% is people that loved it. Yeah. Not just in, yeah, I liked it. But I think everyone that has seen it and has said something just positive, love they love it. So yeah, I haven't seen it yet, but I I'm I, I definitely want to see it. Yeah, it's all practical. Yeah, that's, that's what awesome. I heard too. Hey, so. that's a that's a check it. <laughs> as far as box office, I just want to bring this up. Uh, I I thought it would make fifteen mil, and it made sixteen mil. So uh, this guy, get your box office <laughs> here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're getting there. In the heart of the sea. Your daily dose of uh, Chris Hemsworth. Comes out uh, this Friday, December, what is that? 11th? Yes, yeah. December 11th. Um, this movie is very interesting. 
Yeah. It uh, was supposed to come out in March and it got pushed back to December. Mm-hmm. And when I heard that, I was like, holy shit, this movie must be amazing. <laughs> and we can curse on our podcast. Oh yeah. Shit. Shit. <laughs> anyway. Poop but ass. Poop but ass. All you training day fans out there. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah, when it got pushed to December 2, I was like, oh, okay. So yeah. Chris Hemsworth might be up for acting, definitely Want visual effects. Weight, so that means he'll get a nomination. Right. That picture, if you haven't seen Chris Hemsworth. Uh, he still it, looks good. Like He yeah. still looks better than anything I could pull off. But He looks starved yeah. and malnourished, yeah. but still looks like a model. Still looks like a million bucks. Um, but yeah, I mean, maybe it, the reviews right now, only 64% yeah. on Rotten Tomatoes. And but it's, it's like staying there, mm-hmm. which scares me because I'm still holding, I'm predicting at a 72% because I'm a little bit more optimistic on it. Mm-hmm. Um, and it seems like you're right in the same ballpark, high 60s, low 70s. I don't know. Um, it, it's a little disappointing for me to see this because the trailers have been pretty good. Yeah. When and that tail just wax the ship i mean yeah, it's visually stunning oh based on true story too which yeah. is just unimaginable but I mean, um, if it's that accurate or not but yeah i mean good actors in it too just it seemed like a good movie and it seems like it's just gonna be an okay movie which mm-hmm. i don't know how i feel about that you predicted it at 72 and i would say that i <laughs> right on the cusp like 68 69 yeah. so I think what they're now that I'm seeing this is probably going to be that they wanted to capitalize off the holidays because mm-hmm. it was supposed to come out in March. And also, um, it could be nominated for like visual effects. Oh, right. Yeah. So there, there's yeah. that. Um, so maybe just trying to salvage anything that they can get out of it. Maybe but there's an, a little movie coming out next week. That's uh, going to destroy it's, uh, destroy day. everything that comes out yeah, after. So. But, but uh, this week, I think it'll, um, I think it'll make thirty-five million. Might be a little total, too high. or just that weekend. Just, just this. Oh yeah, weekend. we only do weekend. My yeah. Bad. So uh, that's what I think. I I would agree right in there because yeah. I hope at least because yeah. Chris Hemsworth is I I think he's a good like name like people know who he is and I think the promos and stuff have been pretty good for it so why yeah. not. I would. I think people should check it. Still, that's what I would say. I'm gonna say. I'm not sure if I'm too close to the mic, but I'm gonna say cautiously check it. It's a tentative check. Wait for your friends to see it, or if they're going along and you have nothing else to see, which, yeah, probably you could. Yeah. I'd say go check it. Yeah, you could uh, check my review out for it on my blog whenever it comes out alexreviews.wordpress.com and that'll tell you if you should check it or not too what a good plug it's a great plug (laughs) oh speaking of plugs is that what you're gonna say (laughs) something like that something totally random hey something very red letter media like do you watch that a little bit you should. They're pretty good. Like speaking of speaking check marks. Speaking of check marks. Have you seen the big short coming out uh, December eleventh? Also this week. I think it's unlimited though. So oh, okay. Yeah, which means we couldn't see it. But uh man, this cast. This is a what one of the a best cast. cast. But there's only males. Yeah. Best male cast. Oh wait, um uh, uh, uh Marissa Marissa Tomei. Tomei. Yeah, she's oh, okay. in it. and she is Oh, she's Aunt May. Yeah. Talk about like wine better with age. She is like, what a, what a compliment. Yeah. Marissa, your wine. Hey, um, let's on three favorite person in the cast. Are you thinking about the cast? Mm-hmm. Do, you have this, do you have someone in mind? Mm, it's a tie, but okay. One. Two, three. Brad Christian Pitt. Was, was, uh, was it between Christian Bale and Brad Pitt? Or? It was between Brad Pitt and Ryan Gosling. Oh, really? Yeah. It, for me, it was actually between uh, Christian Bale and Ryan Gosling. So let's, Ryan Gosling yeah. is the one that comes Ryan out on Gosling. top. Ryan yeah. Gosling. So yeah, but if you don't know, it's Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling, Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt Christian Bale. and Christian Bale. 
Uh, Steve and Marissa Carell. Tomei is Steve Carell. Right? Yeah. 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 Steve yeah. Carell looks good in it. He does. Everyone here looks great. It's about, you know, thing we all love talking about, which is the uh, you know, stock market, Wall yeah, Street, housing market, all the housing. That stuff. Yes. Uh, look, looks good. Um, it's a little, it's like the Adam McKay version of Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. I'll say. No. Yeah. That's actually a great comparison. Uh, 78% right now. Not terrible. Pretty solid. That's actually yep. Wolf of Wall Street had like a 78, 79%. So if it's uh, in that same vein, or maybe not verbatim the same vein, but... Yeah, I um, I actually think it'll go up a little. I think it'll be in the 80s. I think it'll go in the 70s just because Adam McKay has only done yeah. comedies and people say that he's very political. Yeah. So I feel like this is his chance, so he might overdo it there's a possibility of overdoing there's definitely it. that possibility i hope he doesn't yeah or maybe I, uh, that's maybe the movie would benefit from that but yeah i'm i'm personally i'm fond of adam mckay uh he's not like you know top 10 directors for me ever but i i like his comedies yeah. i don't i don't think i've ever not liked one of his comedies and from what i like here this is a serious film but there's a lot of comedy in it so it's kind of right. like right at home for him mm-hmm. so yeah i think uh I think this movie might surprise us a little. Yeah. I mean, I'm hoping fingers crossed, but, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, check it. I will also say that. Check it. Yeah. I'm not gonna, I say no predictions for, uh, for box office. Cause I, yeah. I wrote down, I think something 15. Yeah. But that's not going to happen. Yeah. Cause it's like being released in seven theaters. I'm, it might even be lower than that when it actually comes out yeah. just cause, uh, wait, are we doing joy first? Yeah, let, we're we're okay. gonna come back to Star Wars because uh, yep. we wanna we wanna spend some time. So, uh, Joy, um, Joy will be after Star Wars it comes out Christmas Day. Yeah, these are these next few ones are all, all pretty much Christmas. Yes, um, but uh, yes, yeah, Joy. Uh, I I <laughs> thought the trailers were pretty good. I think so too. It's just now that you showed me these re- preliminary reviews. A little yeah, questionable. I don't, I don't think David, David Russell. O. Russell, Jennifer Lawrence, Bradley Cooper, Bradley Cooper, Bradley Cooper, Cooper, and Ray, uh, a three-peat. Yeah. Um, what What do I have here? 56% is it? Yes. The actual one is 56 Uh-oh. right now, which is uh, now, a I will, scary. I will say on uh, Metacritic, I believe it's like a, at a 63 out of 100. Which is good. Which is anything above a 60 on Metacritic, in my opinion, is pretty good. Because mm-hmm. they're pretty harsh. Uh, so... I think it'll go up. I yeah. have it pegged at, I originally had it pegged at 90%, but now I'm going to run like 70, 71%. You said 71, I, I say like 73. Yeah. I think that would be the lowest of the three that they've done yeah. together. Because Silver Lang's playbook, I adored. Phenomenal. I love it. And then American Hustle came out, which we I saw it. I saw it with Christina and we liked it a lot. Uh-oh. But I was like, huh, they, you know, it was good. And then, but weird thing happened was after we watched it, we loved thinking about the movie. But you didn't, and then it would make us want to watch the movie again. But you didn't like it? No, we liked it. Oh, like, it's just, but it's just not, not as, as much as uh, Silver Lang's oh, playbook. Okay. So hopefully I, uh, this doesn't like go down or yeah, something. Yeah, I have a joy, weird relationship but. with American Hustle because I, I think it's an okay movie, but I don't like it that much. I think it's a little, uh, it's been a while since I've seen it, but I think it's a little like pretentious in a way. Um, Interesting. I don't think it's particularly well acted other than Christian Bale and really? uh, Amy Adams. Yes. I, I would agree with you with Bradley Cooper. He, yeah, Bradley Cooper was doing and even Jennifer Lawrence. Like she, she was just like kind of annoying in the film to be honest a little bit. Well, I know. I know. Well, I love, I love Jennifer Lawrence, but just you that's bad mouth J law. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, J-Law. <laughs> but yeah, uh, although Louis C.K. Uh, stole the movie. Oh, he did. He yes. Phenomenal. Telling the story. Um, but, um, but yeah, this movie, uh, you know what? I don't know what I was thinking. I had my prediction at 29 million. That's going down. I'm going to say it makes like 10 million. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, people are Even gonna, that. Like, people are still going to see Star Wars. Like Hateful Eight comes out the same day as joy and there's going to be star Wars like, yeah. Hateful Eight's limited too. 
Oh, well, speaking oh, okay. of hatefully, let's uh, for joy. I'm still. I'm gonna say check it, but very tentatively. I would. Mm. I feel like if you love J Law and you're Gabriel a diehard Russell. fan, I would say check it. If you are <clears throat> any bit skeptical about it, don't check, check it. it. Yeah. But uh, hateful eight. Hateful eight. My top three. Two, no. Who am I kidding? That's my number one anticipated movie of the year. Uh, even with Star Wars there? Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Let's not include yeah. Star Wars transcends anticipation. Let's just say that. It does. Uh, it really Eight, does. Because I think on my list, uh, I think I had Avengers 2 and then Hateful Eight 3, which is still like mm-hmm. Hateful Eight just being next to Avengers says a lot. Right. But uh, yeah, Hateful Eight. Ooh. I can't movie. wait. Yeah. I saw they released eight clips yesterday and I watched all of them. I'm not. I'm saving all of that. <laughs> it, well, let me tell you, um, I'm getting a, not a bad vibe, but a weird vibe from the film where it's like very, it's a little over the top, which I'm okay with personally. Cause mm-hmm. I think Tarantino is going to do something like m- more of a play almost. Yeah. Cause they're all in one location, pretty much the whole movie in that cabin, I believe. Yeah. So him making it kind of more like a play is I think genius. I would agree with you in that interview I was talking about that he does with mm-hmm. what the flick for an hour. If you love hour long interviews with Quentin, you should check it out. He likes to talk. He does like to talk, but I could watch him talk forever, oh, but everyone should and could <laughs> except Spike Lee. Uh Oh, Oh, uh, freaking Spike Lee. Um, Chirac. I would still like to talk to you, Spike Lee, but Me too. Well, one on one. <laughs> but uh anyway, he he says that his most recent work, Quentin Tarantino's most recent work, it's more literary, mm-hmm. he says. I mean I can see that definitely with Inglorious and Django compared to like Kill Bill. Yeah. And he said when he's done um with movies, he's gonna write plays. Oh which really? I think is very, That's very awesome. interesting. Yeah, maybe and, one day uh we can we can work on those plays. Yeah. That'd be awesome. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Um but yeah. And I believe he said uh, they talk about race a lot in mm -hmm. Hateful Eight, which is very timely and very, even though he wrote the script years ago, yeah, he said that he had a line involving like one person says um, something about South Carolina Mm -hmm. and you like, that's too timely right now. He's like, I promise I didn't write that Mm -hmm. right now. Like I, I took it out of the movie and I think it's just very interesting to see that the concerns he had yeah. are very much, you know, here today, but did you read the leaked script? Heck no. Me neither. Dude. No, I respect the man. I, I know he had an outburst when it came out. He did rightfully and, so, uh, but I, uh, you know, some people may look at him and be like, Oh, why is he outbursting? That's stupid. I understand it. He, he's an artist he didn't want people to like, he wanted specific people to see it and specific people not to see it. Us, mm-hmm. the audience members not to see it. And right. I, I could understand him feeling a little bit hurt that that happened. And, and he's more very much like, I will read you the script yeah, and see how people react to get people's yep. reactions out. And that's just how he does it. And yeah, you know, with his movies, it works, it pays off, keep doing it. Yeah. So, but it is, uh, Oh, there's the, no, there's yeah. no, this is oh. a pure prediction here. Oh, uh, you said 93. I did indeed. I said, I just said 94. I think I'm going to go to 95 just cause I it's think it's entirely possible. I've been hearing some pretty good things. Yeah. I know so, a few, you know, a few cats, not know personally, but you know, just yeah. through the internet, <laughs> through the internet, <laughs> through the internet. I think, uh, you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say check it. Oh, I'm a uh, big check it, <laughs> big check it. And as far as box office, this is interesting Yep. because it comes out in limited on Christmas in 70 millimeter. However, oh wait, you know what? I actually heard a little piece of information that's going to make me change. I said uh, 33 million originally. I'm bumping that down to 20 million. And here's my reasoning. Apparently a Tarantino film has never made over like 36 million opening weekend. And this is opening only in limited and Star Wars is going to be out too. So I think 20 million might might be right just because like, I'm going to see it. Yeah. You're going to see it. Anyone who likes Tarantino will go see it in 70 millimeter. So I, I will say definitely check it out in 70 millimeter just yeah. cause support it. 
yeah, support it. Like a lot of people say, I can't tell between oh, film or digital. Is this film? Is this film? Is that digital? <laughs> I will have you, I will say to you, watch the movie. This is the end. And you try and tell me that that movie wasn't shot on a cell phone. Like that movie looks like it's a great movie. Yeah. But I love it. I mean, look at hateful eight. It looks like a painting. Like, yep. I mean, it's, it's, it's a still, yeah, it's a, it's crazy. It's beautiful. I don't know, but it looks beautiful. Interstellar was on film. Yeah. And that was beautiful. All the dark Knight movies were, um, trying to think of movies. Oh, star Wars force awakens shot on film. Yeah. Um, I know that. So, I mean, it's good stuff. Yeah. What, uh, what is your box office prediction? I w- well, now that you said that, I, I don't know. I'll say 20, 25. Okay. I won't say 30, but like high, higher twenties just yeah. cause I think the marketing is oh, marketing out there. Is great, yeah. So Channing Tatum's yeah. in it too. So for the ladies, he is in it, and I don't know who he's playing Me either. But I'm and excited. I'm trying not to like. Yeah, I'm like, I don't want to. I don't want to know. I kind of want to. I think it's a cameo. It has to be. It has to be something very small. Yeah. But he's in it, and I'm there, excited. He was on an interview with Kimmel, I think, back in January or something. Mm-hmm. And he said, "Oh, you're." And he said, "You're in Faith, Hateful Eight right now, right?" And he's like, "He's like." Yeah, yeah. Like he wasn't supposed to talk about yeah. it, and Jimmy Kimmel goes, "Are you one of the eight? And he just says, mm, "I can't say anything." Oh. And I'm just like, "I don't think he's gonna be one of the eight. No, I mean, me it's, it's obvious who the eight are, but yeah. it's just like, who is he gonna play? Yeah, so. I'm, I'm excited, and you know what? We'll know when we <clears throat> check it. When we check it. Um. Oh, here's another just. No, wait, no, I saw The Revenant. I saw it's, The Revenant, too. <laughs> all right, well, Concussion. We'll, we'll breeze through this one. Yeah. This one uh, comes out also on Christmas, like the rest of these. Uh, it looks um, like a TV movie. Looks like a Lifetime movie oh, to me. Oh, sir. That's, that's, those are my feelings. You, I don't respect your feelings. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Will Smith looks great in it, though. He does. Tell I think, the truth. Tell the truth. Tell, tell the, the truth. truth. Powerful stuff. His, I would he, agree. He pulls off the accent remarkably well. Our terrible Nigerian um, accents. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. But I mean, he he definitely pulls it off. He's. I mean, I think it's great that an actor of his, like I don't know his caliber. He's, caliber. Thank you. Uh, That's what I'm here for. He's taking a shot at the NFL. Like I remember the first trailer came out on the first NFL game yeah. and I was like, Oh, Uh-oh. now I will say this though. The film does seem very, uh, just um, based on the trailers. It seems very one sided. Yeah. Uh, I do. I would have preferred maybe more of a balance, like, you know, mm-hmm. show one side of the story and the other side too. But, uh, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know. Right. Yeah. And for those of you that don't know, sorry, uh, concussion, Will Smith plays a doctor who finds out, About um, concussions at the NFL. The re- yeah. The results of getting so many concussions and that it's essentially killing yep. people. So it's understandable why the NFL <laughs> is yeah. a little like, Oh, we don't, uh, we don't appreciate We're this not going to play your preview. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And uh, apparently Monday the night. movie isn't too bad. It's sitting at a 67%, which I see it going down to a 59. That's but real it, low. But uh, yeah, but I, it could linger in the low 60s. There's yeah. just something about it that I think, uh, I think it's a very, it looks like a very generic film. Well, I would disagree and say that. I think it'll still go down, but it'll be at 62. It won't go below 60. <clears throat> I, I think his performance yeah, alone that'll, will. Yeah, which, beautiful. So, um, box office, yeah. I said 20 mil. I'm, I'm bumping that down a bit. I'm going to actually bump it down to 12 mil now. Yeah, I think Will Smith doesn't really have yeah, he's the not, draw just on his name anymore. Yeah, but. and, you know, I mean, are you going to go see Concussion or are you going to go see Star Wars or Hateful Eight? Um, hateful eight, hateful eight, star Wars, all that before concussion. Right. Sorry, but I'm still going to say check it. If nothing else, let's watch Will Smith's performance. It looks good. I will definitely say check it for the, you know, the message it's trying to say, I think it's very powerful and yeah, you know, this movie got funding for that. You know, it's star revolution. Yeah. (laughs) Speaking of a revenant, bad. Bad transition. 
The Revenant. This movie is wow. Uh, this is number two or three on my most anticipated. Beautiful. This movie looks beautiful. Yep. Shot with natural Heard it's light. Beautiful. Uh, a little bit. The box off or not box office. The um, Rotten Tomato score is a little bit lower than I wish it was. Uh, it's sitting at eighty four percent. Yes. I I thought it'd be like in the nineties. But I'm perfectly fine with it being in the 80s because it shows that like people aren't, you know, just like, oh, Alejandro, you did Birdman. You are the best, sir. <laughs> it just like it shows that people like are watching this and it's it's a little polarizing for some people. There are some things that maybe people wouldn't like about it and they're being honest. And I like that. I like seeing that, you know. Hollywood isn't enamored with Alejandro. They can still kind of see past him and see his work. That being said, from what I hear, his work is awesome. And I, I want Leo. I want him to get I want him yes. to get the Oscar. That's the big thing. Is Leo gonna win the Oscar? I think he will. I think he will. What else is he going against? Oh well he's going against what's his face for Danish girl, which you know Eddie Redmayne? No, he's not gonna get it again. His performance, you know, <sighs> I don't know who the other nominees were for last year, but because he won, didn't he, for the year? Oh, uh, Keaton. Michael Keaton was nominated. Oh, right. Which I was okay with him. Yeah. It's two movies again. Like, yeah, but I, I really. DiCaprio is better than Keaton. Oh, that's true. Very yeah. true. I want DiCaprio to win so bad. I mean, Leo says that he did stuff for this movie that. Yeah. No other, no other actors done before. He went Daniel Day on this movie. He did. I would. <laughs> I think he will win. I think he should win, even though I haven't seen the movie yeah. yet. B- bold prediction, but I think I think we'll be right about this because there. What other acting, like you know, mm-hmm. who else is going to get it? You know, it'd be terrible if they gave it to Tom Hardy for supporting. Oh no! Uh, I don't just think to they... have Revenant get oh, some. I can't Oscars. wait till we do predictions because. Uh, Mark Ruffalo in Spotlight. I hear very good things, and I think Same. I think he might I think he might clinch it. Well, but, I mean, uh, right now it's at what eighty four. You say ninety, I say ninety one. Yeah, I think it'll stay in the nineties just because yeah. it it looks amazing. <clears throat> yeah, like, and I think people like when more critics see it, they're going to be enamored by the visual sense right. of the film and all that. And I hear the bird, the not the bird, the bear attack. Oh yeah, I heard it's amazing <laughs> so stuckman uh, stuckman you said you watched the review right? oh yeah that's what he mentioned sh- chris it. stuckman check us out dude hey we love you man we love chris stuckman here we love all our viewers too keep checking us yeah. out <laughs> which essentially we just love ourselves is that not true i i love me i love me i love i love lamp i love lamp um, box office for the revenant i i put it at 11 mil and i think that's my most realistic uh one of my more realistic ones on the list. I don't know. I think it'll be higher than 11. Oh, I oh, do tell this. Cause it, the wide release comes out in January and I think almost a whole month of star Wars <laughs> will go by. People still watch star Wars. Oh, definitely. But I think people, when they see that trailer and there's Leo's riding a horse that goes over a cliff. Ooh. I think that alone, people are gonna be like, what? So what even is this movie? Like cut the foreplay. What is your name? <laughs> My apologies. I must say 25. Okay. I, I could see that happening. Honestly, maybe even more just cause people are going to, yeah, they'll, they're going to flock to it. Mm-hmm. People are going to hear is Leo going to win it. Cause yeah. that's become, and then they're going to go now. and watch him win it. Yeah. are going to see why he wins it. And then, uh, you know, check it. Yeah. hundred percent. Check it. This is another big check it. And our last one before, well, you know, speaking Star of Wars. another big check in, this comes now. This last one doesn't come out on Christmas, comes out December 30th, probably, in, probably in limited Anomalisa. Anomalisa? It's a uh, stop motion. What? Yeah. And it looks absolutely breathtaking. My God. This movie looks like it's going to be what Whiplash was to me last year, this year. If that oh, that just blew you away. I think, I think this movie's gonna blow me away. Um, mm-hmm. Like, if you haven't seen the trailer for Anomalisa, watch it. Yeah, Anomalisa. Definitely, definitely check it out. I it's think it's just, like an anomaly, but it's like Lisa, so Anomalisa. That's what I think. Oh, 
mind blown. Going deep. <laughs> Going deep, boy. Sorry. This has a 100% on Rotten Tomatoes with 40 critics. Ladies and gentlemen, that means everyone loved it. All the critics loved it. Now, I will also well, say Boyhood. Pop, yeah, pop. Boyhood uh, had like a 99%. And I like Boyhood. I do too. But over time, I can acknowledge like a little bit more, maybe like, I don't know, the mm-hmm. parts of it just don't hold up. Will Animalisa be the boyhood? Oh, I hope not. I, I hope it's better. I hope it's more yeah. timeless than that. Not it to, just not to make a pun on the 12 years thing. Yeah. Um, but. yeah, I, uh, I personally, I see the percentage going down to maybe a 99. I see, I see you yeah. have a 96. I do. I just, I don't think this movie, cause boyhood's different with that boyhood yeah. and documentaries. They'll they'll tend to have 100. percent It just means everyone, which is not a even a documentary, view. but it's so documentary like that. Right, yeah. right. It's and just it's just like it's, it's a different the, kind quote of quote movie. unquote gimmick that really like right. Which I love the gimmick. Like, awesome. Could this stop motion be another gimmick? Just oh, how crazy little, it yeah. looks. Like it could very well be. But I hope there's more substance beneath that gimmick. That's what I want. Right. And I think I might get that. Like the, the criticism trailer, for gravity. <laughs> yeah. Which I still like it, but yeah. Oh, definitely. Definitely. But I will definitely say check it. Yo, for sure. Big check it. And no box office prediction for this because we're not, we're not like fortune tellers. We can't see that. Even though we try that with all the other movies, but. <laughs> so let's sidetrack a little bit oh. and, uh, oh, let's or backtrack, back. I'll say. Yeah. And, uh, go back to, a <laughs> 10 days ten from days. today i will be actually 10 literally 10 days from today at this exact time i will be watching star wars that's crazy that is amazing i'm gonna try and see it friday daytime oh yeah just so i won't be there'll be people yeah but i don't think as many as uh nighttime yeah i already have my uh reserved seating imax of course um <laughs> god i've been waiting for this movie yeah this it's safe to say that universally the most anticipated film of the year. Maybe of all time. Maybe That's fair to of say. all time. That we are never going to get another movie like this in our, uh, I'm not going to say our lifetime, but it could very well be our lifetime. This movie yeah. has so much hype Yeah. or drive. You know what's crazy is that we weren't this age, obviously, when Phantom Menace came out, but is this hype? Does this hype seem like more than stuff we've heard about the hype for Phantom Menace? I think so. Cause and I think a lot of that has to do with how bad the first trilogy was. Yeah. I think we just, we want like, we want a good, uh, good star Wars movie, which, which we will Revenge for the of, next 20 years. <laughs> Revenge of the Sith. I think it was a good star Wars movie, but it could have been, you know, better. It still had, it's right. like CGI and, uh, green screen and Jar Jar even popped up for way too much of it, even though he was there for like a couple seconds. Yeah. This movie though, very minimal use of uh green screen or CGI. It's still there, but it's just like they've mm-hmm. learned, you know, you got to do both. Yeah. You got to blend them. And I mean, that shot of the <clears throat> ship that gets shot. I mean, that's all, that's a that's model. Awesome. And I'm like, uh, why don't people, it looks real. Like I legitimately yeah. think it looks real because it is. And it's, yeah. It still looks great. Yeah, so the cast looks phenomenal. Yeah. Daisy Ridley might be my new like celebrity crush. Really? Yeah, she's cute. <laughs> cute as a button. Like her I've watched uh, a few interviews with her. Her like laugh and smile and chuckle and I was like I need to meet this girl. <laughs> great accent too. Great accent. Did you hear she said JJ Abrams said her acting was wooden on the first day of filming? Oh, wait, I did not know this. Is this yep. bad? Uh, we'll see if it's a problem, but cuz I don't know, the trailers made it seem like she's like a full range of emotions. Yeah. I mean, that could have been just first day jitters, yeah. so. But I'm really excited. Uh, we'll do one of these. Prediction, you say 88? I do say 88. I I do think there's going to be a couple of uh naysayers mm-hmm. cuz you're going to have people that go in want, like wanting to love it so much. You're going to give it a great score, but then you're also going to have people that have been so affected by the prequels yeah. that I think 
are going to go in and maybe nitpick more than they should. And then they're going to give it a worse like score. Yeah. But uh, I'm going to like, I'm personally, I'm going to try to go in very like, you know, this is a movie. I'm going to look at it as objectively as possible. I can't do that. I, I could definitely, I think I could power through that. It's, yeah. I but, mean, you, I say, mean, you say, you say 90%. I say 90. So you, a little bit higher, but it makes I a just, difference. I just think even this, even if this movie is, um, like, okay by normal movie standards, mm-hmm. people are going to love it just because it's yeah. already 50 times better than the prequels were. And yeah. then, I mean, Harrison Ford says it's wonderful. I trust says Harrison a lot. Ford. Yeah. I think if he didn't like it, he wouldn't say anything at all. Right. So props to him for uh, for making me a believer. Mm-hmm. Oh, we'll do box office because I have a claim Oh, do you? Yeah. Well, let's let's hear your prediction. My my prediction is uh, is a little large and in charge, but uh, I I'm gonna say two hundred and twenty million dollars, which yep. uh, which would be the record. That would be the most that a film has ever made in uh, a weekend. Um, a lot. There's a lot going against it. I think projections are one seventy, but you know what? I think it's gonna break those projections. I think definitely will. Yeah, so two hundred twenty going, going big, and I'm saying it's going to earn its budget back in the in the weekend. How much? Two hundred fifty. Two fifty. Two fifty. Two fifty. People. Oh my god. Even even maybe more than that, just because you know marketing. That's another fifty million. Well, so I mean, do they million. have that many theaters to make that possible? Even? Oh yeah. Oh. I think small town theaters. They're going to have to open up every single screen for their for that opening weekend. I, Something else I've actually also heard is that they're uh, they're playing like the first day. I think they're starting like Thursday at seven, and they're just playing it from like Thursday at seven till like Saturday at like yeah uh, whatever. Oh yeah, we're we're the rest of this is gonna be non-video. Which no, is fine. wait, it's already not recording anymore. Yeah, dang, I know it's a sad day. <laughs> what was that? So sorry. What was it? I don't know. Was that a creature? We can't see it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was me. Uh-huh. So it was a creature. Ooh. Uh, self diss. I hate myself. Oh, uh, just don't kidding. Y'all. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I say two fifty, and I also think that Star Wars is going to make two billion dollars. Wait, like internationally or maybe domestically? Is that possible? Oh, Probably that's, not. That's bold. That is bold. I think bold I'll comment. just say in general, it'll make two billion. No I, uh, doubt. I'll, not agree, a doubt with, I'll agree with you internationally. I think it'll make two billion hands down. You know, China doesn't get to see it till like, I think January, which sucks for China. Hey, you can make our stuff, but you can't see star Wars till the new year. Dude got their ass. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry, screeped him good. Uh, wanna, that's what you get, China, for making Finn so tiny on the poster. Did you oh, see that? Oh, and I have not. Yeah, like... Do they have I'll, something against uh, people of uh, color? Uh, people of color? Is that what you said? Yes, that's exactly what I said. Okay, well, um, I you know, a lot of people say that. I, I don't think so. Some people say they made the Millennium Falcon bigger. Like, they made that the the ship's bigger and then him smaller and someone trying to make the argument that they're more technology, uh, loving oh. or something. I'm like, Finn, so Finn what are you saying character. about people in China? Like yeah. Finn is a main character. He exactly. needs to be bigger than the ships. He's more important. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Like, and people saying, well, China's racist. And I'm like, you know, this is such crap. Like yeah. it's, I think it was just an unconscious thing that happened and it backfired. But it's like, what are they? I don't, I don't know. know what they're doing. What are they? What are they you took guys out doing Chewbacca over? completely. No one's talking about that. I can't do it. Sir. <laughs> Sir. Dugan. Dugan. I was actually about to say it, but I forgot the word. So I was going to be like Duber. Duber. That is not the word. But uh, Dugan. But if you love Star Wars, definitely. If you, lo- if you love life. If you love life. You I'm, gotta, yeah, I would agree. You got to check it. Um, do you want to, do you have any predictions for this? Cause this is, this is the time. What do you mean? Do you have a prediction of, uh, maybe what will happen to certain characters oh. or something? Oh, oh, okay. Cause we haven't seen a certain character. 
Well, you should definitely watch. Uh, I guess I could just stretch out now that the oh, video's yeah. not. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Oh, this is very loosey goosey right now. Yep. I mean, I would say. Well, first you need to watch the Red Letter Media video of their Star Wars predictions. And why would I want to do that? Because it's great. What? And why would I want to do that? Because they they have some very interesting predictions that the character of Finn, mm-hmm. <coughs> excuse me, Finn, he's a red herring, oh. just in general. So they're saying like he's not related to anyone, at anyone, all. anything. I they, hope that's they the think, case because otherwise, like, who's he going to be related to? Lando? Like, no, they think that he's not even like in the movie, like. And strangely, I think J.J. Abrams would go that far. I don't think that's specifically true. But Wait, so he's not in the movie at all. Everything they shot for him is right. like... Because he has the lightsaber. I was like, what sense does that make? What sense does that make? Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to disagree on that just purely based off of like... They're basically saying like, oh, screw this kid. That <laughs> his dream has come true. And no, I mean, oh, I mean, you're not going to be in the movie. I don't think that's true. I just think it's interesting to hear it all is, these predictions it, that come out. It's an interesting take. I'll give it that. Yeah. But okay. So I will say that Ray and Kylo Ren, they're siblings. That's what I'm thinking. I, I think they're either, they're related. I'll, they're I'll twins that maybe. Way. Cause yeah, Ray in the Ren. poster, they have like a nice little parallel between them. Right. Which, which I don't think that that shot in the poster, I don't think that's by accident. So yeah. that's, um, how I, are they siblings or related? Uh, like, I think that who? they are Han and Leia's kids okay. just cause there's a moment in the trailer where Leia's hugging Han. And I think that's the moment where Han, Han and Leia, they, they get together after a little while. We'll talk about that. Maybe, maybe not later, but, um, I think they realize Leia's like our son is a Sith Lord. Our I think she's our son is a, a shithead. Yes. What he quite is. the, the butthole, um, quite a Dugan, quite a Dugan. That's right. Um, I think that, I think Kylo is the new prefix. Mm-hmm. I think there's no more Darth. There's now Kylo. Ooh, I'm going to debunk that. You're going to debunk that. I'm going to debunk it just because his first name is Ren and her name is Ray, so then they Ooh, could... that uh, too. Oh, that's that's good action. I never even thought about that. Yeah. Wow. So that's... Yeah. I, um... You know, that it's interesting, and I, I agree a lot with, uh, with that theory. I'm wondering, though, what made him turn evil, you know? Yeah. What made him want to pursue the dark side of the Force? Yeah. Uh, which I really hope will be answered in a very good way like i hope it's very logical what they do with him Mm -hmm. um here here's the thing about the darth stuff um andy circus is playing someone called uh supreme Supreme leader Leader snoke Snoke. which is a nice jab at north koreans is it really yeah they call i'm pretty sure they call him supreme leader kim jong interesting kim jong un -un. right great great uh character in a movie because we can't you know make parallels to nazi germany anymore we gotta gotta, update it for north korea a little um have you ever heard of darth plagueis i hear mentionings of such character um so he was mentioned in the prequels as being darth sidious's master. master When he's given that mythology yeah, story, which that is a great scene. That's like the only great scene. That's the only great scene in the prequels that like really like from start to finish is like great acting, great writing, great everything. Yeah. Uh, with, with that said, the rest of the prequels is a little, eh, <laughs> but, uh, so he talks about, uh, Darth, uh, Darth Plagueis during that scene, Darth Sidious does. And he mentions how Darth Plagueis was able to like, avoid death. He was able to escape it. Yeah. And he also mentioned how his Padawan, which is Darth Sidious killed him in his sleep. But if he's able to, you know, somehow escape death, yeah, it wouldn't be so outlandish for him to escape death and survive. And there's a rumor that Andy Serkis isn't really playing Supreme leader Snoke, that he's actually playing Darth Plagueis. And there's a, a leaked picture. No, don't even tell me. Well, it's not leaked. It's like a hand-drawn picture. And, of uh, Andy Serkis? Of Andy Serkis' character. Just what he looks like. And it, it's a little uncanny of the resemblance to Darth Plagueis. Shoot. Now I'm going to expect that 
you do can, <laughs> but it's not like confirmed. It's yeah. not like it could be, I'm which like, off. I don't know Darth Plagueis at all. So I don't even know what that, like what yeah. the ramifications of that are. And, and you know, if that's true, would they reveal him in part one of the new trilogy? I think they would. I feel like that would maybe be something towards the end, but I don't, again, I don't think this would be a, I don't think it's a huge reveal. Cause it's like, it's not as much of the reveal of who he is, but like what he stands for yeah, and his involvement in the whole thing. Like me knowing that it, that it could be Darth Plagueis. I'm like, okay, what does that mean? Like what's going to yeah. happen? Cause I don't know much about the character. I just know he's like one of the ultimate big bads, but that's what Snoke was supposed to be too. So yeah. I mean, maybe it's, it's there's going to be a team up type procedure for but he's a Darth the future movies, but he's a Darth. He is a Darth. So, so I mean, I mean, from the taglines too, it says, you know, every generation has a story. So I think they're going to play on that even more now, in my opinion, Mm -hmm. like maybe even keep the Kylo title for him. Yeah. But if you're Darth, because maybe, maybe, oh, maybe that's how they'll address, you know, Darth Vader's uh, turn to to good at the end of the third one. Mm Mm-hmm. Right? No, end of episode oh, yeah, whatever. Six. Yeah, episode six. Yeah. Um because maybe maybe he's the only one that'll know if he's this Darth this Darth Plagueis. Plagueis, mm-hmm. is that how you yeah. say it? Plagueis. If he's truly Darth Plagueis, I'ma make that theory that he knows that Darth Vader did, and he's the only one who knows that he turned to to light. Mm-hmm. And that's why him whoever's under him, whoever is yeah. Whoever is under him is not going to be a Darth yeah. until we know for sure. Like that they're like a Darth. Right. Until Darth then. Movie. Okay. Until yeah. then they're, they're a Kylo. I, uh, if I actually you will. really like that, that theory of yours that <clears throat> that's interesting. Well, thank you. <laughs> and, uh, any, uh, any theory? I, I think we should probably wrap things up, but yeah. one more big, one more big question mark for real. Let's go. Luke Skywalker. Luke. Thank you. Where in the world is Luke Skywalker? People say he's bad. People say, no, he's Obi-Wan. I think those are two very obvious choices, yeah, even so though I thought, I. I thought he was going to be bad and it would subvert people's expectations. Sorry for bumping the table. Uh-oh. Uh, I think he's in the middle and I say that he's in the middle and that he's, he's operating like Obi-Wan did. Mm-hmm. Like as a, you know, he's chilling mm-hmm. rumor. Here's a rumor for you that, uh, he's chilling at this old Jedi temple. Okay. Oh, and that'd I th- be cool. Yeah. We, Can you think back to the trailers? Revisit like the prequels, like yeah. the area that'd be cool. Just cause like, even though I'm not a huge fan of the prequels at all, mm-hmm. it'd be cool if they kind of more acknowledge like the prequels. Yeah. You know? Like I don't ma- want them like, to forget it. Make, make them, them better. Uh, yeah. Make them better. Exactly. But, mm-hmm. The temple is in like, you know, the, the Aztec pyramids from like, yeah, the those trailer. are Jedi temples. Oh, those okay. are older temples. So you think he's in one of those and he's just, yeah, he's trying to be neutral and not mm-hmm. like interfere, but somehow you think they'll like go to him and he'll have to. Yeah. Okay. I think he's, he's trying real hard. Like he's, he's, he's like Obi-Wan only he's actually trying and he's whatever he's doing. It involves that temple. If you watch the trailer, you could probably guess where, what temple I'm talking about, but, um, I, um, you know, it's an interesting, uh, interesting theory. What do you think? Do you think he's good or bad? Or uh, in the middle? Well, what I'll say is I think he, uh, he does end up like Obi-Wan as a force ghost. Mm. I think he's dead. I think we start the movie and I think that's why they haven't shown him yet. I think it's because if they show him, he's as a force ghost. So immediately you're going to know that he's dead. Someone's, I saw this somewhere that there's a new TV spot and at the end they show him in a robe. Oh, really? I think so. Oh, I might. I haven't watched it. No, I might watch. I'm just so curious. Yeah. But, but that's a, mm -hmm. I, I I don't know. That was like a, like a Mm -hmm. crappy link. So I didn't click on it, but, um, I, I think that he's still good. But oh, he's a ghost. I think he's a ghost and he's only there for like the spiritual guidance. Dang. So that's, Dang. yeah, that's what I think. Now I could see someone being upset like, oh, he died in between episode six and seven. We didn't even get to see it. I'm fine with that. Yeah. If they like give a, maybe like give a good reason for it. And yeah. 
Like maybe that's why we see Han and Chewie for some reason. Like you know, Chan, Han, Chan and Huey. Oh, Chan and Huey. Chan and Huey. Uh, Good Han and Chewie. You know they've been on the run yeah. or something. So maybe I don't know. Maybe they had an adventure, if you will, mm-hmm. with Luke, and Luke may may have died. And yeah, something something might have happened. Maybe Plagueis. Maybe Plagueis, right? Yeah, yeah, or Snoke, or whoever he ends up being. Maybe he and Luke had a little bit of a duel, and that could explain the lightsaber thing. Why he? Yeah. Why? Why would he not have his lightsaber? Yeah. Like so, I'm really, I'm really interested in Luke. That's the big like mystery. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Abrams did a phenomenal job, kind of like keeping it under wraps. Definitely, I did hear from somewhere that like a week before the movie comes out, which is this week. Sometime this week or maybe in the beginning of next week, they're going to release footage of Luke. That's oh. what I heard, and I'm not going to watch it because I'm so God, close. I like, just want to see it in theaters. Everyone's saying, you know, this marketing for Star Wars has been so great. They showed nothing. I agree. But these TV spots, one after the other, yeah, they, in 30 second increments, there's new footage, and I'm like, okay. It's still, it's still like, it's showing more of like what you know, but it, it is showing a little bit too much. Yeah, because I, I made this insinuation of where the movie's going to end and like where this temple is. And it's oh, just, you, you think you know where it ends? You yeah. think it ends at the temple? I think it ends at that temple. This is off topic, but uh, I have a, a little bit of a Leia theory, just kind of oh, no. going with that Jedi temple. Oh, right. And no one's talking about that. Leia's Jedi. Yeah. Leia has force. But she doesn't, like, she hasn't trained to be a Jedi. She just has that, like, she is, like, there is the force within her. I think that there's going to be a scene in this movie where she force pushes someone or something. She uses the force. Why you say that? I I just have a hunch. You have a hunch? I think she's going to do more than that. Really? You think she'll like take out a a little uh, lightsaber? I just thought of this theory in my head and uh uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think, well, A, I think the lightsaber's a MacGuffin. Luke's lightsaber's a MacGuffin. What? I think he, for some reason, they find that and I think they get, they get, the lightsaber to Leia in Act Two, mm-hmm. and she's gonna have to use it. I think she's gonna die, Ooh. which is gonna suck for her, uh, Harrison Ford because he's wanted Han Solo to yeah. die for so long. And then Carrie Fisher gets it. Yeah. Oh no, because she seems like a real complicated person to work with, more yep. so than Harrison Ford. Yep, yep, yep. But the stuff I've seen behind the scenes, she seems to love. Like yeah. the hands are in, so I think she'll die. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say she lives. Honestly, I don't see her yeah. dying. But all right, so you say uh, Luke is neutral. Luke it is ends with the neutral. Temple. Yep. You think Leia dies, and mm-hmm. you think she doesn't just use the Force, but she uses a lightsaber. I think she uses Luke's lightsaber, dies, and John Boyega. Boyega that, that's the, that's the shit at the end. Okay, and uh, oh, that's actually really interesting. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say then that. Uh, Plagueis, I think that's going to happen. I'm going to say that uh, Leia just uses the force, force push, if nothing else. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm also going to say that uh, Luke is uh, a force ghost. That's and, a bold one, man. And those uh, those will be our little yep. predictions that we can revisit. Oh, yeah. the, the last prediction thing is the Kylos, the new prefix for, oh, the, yeah. for, the, for the sub-Siths. Yeah, I will. think... Uh, because with that Darth Vader helmet, he says, I will finish what you started. Yeah. So I think he's trying to prove himself. Yeah. But why? That's the big... That's the why. I, I need a good reason Darth why. Plagueis. If they don't give a good reason why, that I think for right. me, that'll ruin the film. I need a good reason why he's following in Darth Vader's footsteps. Or we could just be wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the movie will still be great because I think yeah. it still will be. But uh, This is a movie that everyone will check no matter what we say. Yep. So how about you just check it? <laughs> Absolutely check it. Well, uh, I think, uh, yeah. That, that pretty much covers it. This has been uh, probably a long one. Yep. Can I, you can you garner how long? I'm going to guess. Oh, my gosh. It's 938. Uh, more than an hour. <laughs> well, it's uh, the Star Wars episode. So. Hour and 15, I'll say. Okay, we'll we'll figure that out. Yep. You'll see by the thumbnail, but uh, or not thumbnail. Well, it'll say on the thumbnail like how long it is. 
Until then, Un- hey, we're losing. Uh, we're losing all like our Star Wars pre-Star Wars life after this. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm excited. You're excited. You're all the excited. excited. <laughs> um, we'll see you in 2016, and we're gonna pretty much talk a lot about Star Wars again. Oh yeah, and Oscar maybe, and yeah. uh, so next, okay then. Yeah, the next check it will be very like we're gonna just reflect a yeah. lot because January sucks. Yeah, I don't think we'll be checking out too much. Right along too. Okay then. Okay then, you doogans. You doogans. <laughs>